everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series in our today's chapter um, this is something linked to the last tutorial where, we'll be, uh, where, we'll, where we will be talking about arrays as to how can we um, declare or define the number of items an array can hold dynamically so without wasting any time let's just jump down to the developers tab and visual basic now as you can see in the previous example that we had demonstrated we've specified a number while defining an array um, so um, this will only keep our array limited to 3 because the array index starts from 0 obviously but um, what if we had a list where we didn't know how many items existed in that list and the list constantly kept changing from lower to higher so it's not really the best practice to define an array with the highest number because that would obviously suck up some space in memory if you're not using it entirely it doesn't really make sense so to achieve that um, I will demonstrate how can we define the number of items that we can hold in an array dynamically so in order to do so let me firstly define an array um, as string array um, so let's say dim string array as string let me define an integer um, so that we can run a loop now um, in order to read in this array to get um, the index in memory what we will do is we will firstly run a loop so let's say do while this workbook dot sheets dynamic array dot cells um, the f row which we will assign is2 the first column dot value does not equal to blank the reason we are starting this loop from row 2 is because that's where the name list starts from as the row one is nothing but the header um, then let's keep on increasing the value of i as our loop keeps running so that the row number will keep changing and eventually the loop will reach on row number 5 and it will fail it will fail basically that means the loop will end um, now um, in order to declare or redefine an array um, dynamically what you need to write is read in the name of the array um, read in preserve rather the name of the array and the index that you'd like to store in memory so for our instance we will say i minus 2 because we've declared i as 2 in the beginning so when we do i minus 2 um, this would basically start the index from 0 for our array rather than us starting from 2 that doesn't really make sense so this is how pretty much it will keep redefining this array and since the loop will run three times it should um, define the array from rows from index 0 to index 2 and it will give it a capability of holding up to three items in it now let's also assign some value to this array let's say string array i minus 2 equal to the value where the loop is currently running on so now when i run this loop towards the end of this loop let's run mo one more loop that says um, for um, since we know we're running a loop so let's say for i equal to 0 to a u bound string array what this basically means u bound is nothing but but the number of items that an array can hold so this loop will basically run um, three times or um, rather two times um, now sorry three times you got me there okay now um, let's do a message box um, string array with the value of i now let us jump down to the excel workbook and assign this macro that we've just created to this button right here now once we run this what we should see is the first message box should so show Jayesh the second one should show John the third one should show Mike and um, as we can see guys um, this is how pretty much um, declaring arrays um, dynamically can work very well in our favor which means even if I were to increase this list with the number of users it would automatically be captured in my array because I've built it that way rather than defining it manually I'm defining it dynamically so if I run this again instead of three message boxes I should see five message boxes which are right here so guys this is how pretty much you could um, declare and um, store space and memory for the number of items that can be held by an array um, dynamically. So thanks for watching guys. I hope the video was helpful and please stay tuned for more. Take care.